Hello, we are going to uh, continue on the uh, tutorial of uh, Linium Force. And um, what we're going to be doing today is that we're only going to be doing one support down here because one support of these three are going to be identical. They're all the same. So we're only going to be doing one and we're going to be doing the large helix. And I'll be showing you how to do the uh, support in the center of the helix. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And I'm also going to show, because I had a comment today on how I make the, tr the uh, carts uh, go down. And I'll explain it later. We're just going to go ahead and get to it. But here's how you would do it. You would go off one side, then off up, off the other, and you would do that on the same side. Now you have to uh, do it diagonal, so it's uh, one block away diagonally from the actual support beam. And you go down, and then you go down again. And as I was doing that, I realized that I forgot to do one more thing. We're going to be doing uh, this side, the uh, supports that go this direction and under. So I'm just going to show you a small section. This is, you basically just go in a perfect diagonal line, 45 degrees. And you would just do that all the way down. And so you would do the exact same on this side. You can start wherever, by the way. It doesn't matter. And you would do this to all the sides of the uh, of this huge beam. But that's going to take forever. So we're just going to continue on this beam right here. So you're going to go down one more time. And I'm going to go check on how I did it real fast over here. All right. OK, I see. And there's a part one to this tutorial, so if you're new to this tutorial, then go to part one because you'll see how I did the rest of the supports. But yeah, you just gotta take one off, sorry about that. And then you would just go down. Hold on. From starting at this point right here, it would go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You would go down eight. And then you do that for all beams. Start one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you would just go ahead and do that for this one. And the other one. So now it's perfectly even. And now we go out again, so you're gonna want to put a block down at the bottom. And make it go out diagonally like how we did it up here. So you go down one, cross over, make a diagonal. Go down, go down one, cross over, make a diagonal. And then you go all the way down with this one. All the way down to the ground. And I'll go ahead and show you guys what it looks like from afar. It would look like that. So let's continue. 
for this part, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna make a beam going across. So like so, actually no. We're gonna start with the diagonal beam and then we're gonna go across. So we're starting with the lowest beam and go across. We're gonna go across for each one and make a square. Like so. And I believe we're good on top. We just got to uh, make it diagonal on this side. So we're gonna go ahead and make a square up here. And it's gonna look like that. Well, that's more of a rectangle, but you get the gist. And so now let me show you how I did these supports. You're gonna go down two, 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 just gonna keep doing that until you get to this part. Once you get to this part you stop. And now you do it on the other side. Two, two. Now, there's already two here so that's already neutral. So we keep that two, two, and then two. And here's what it looks like from far. And now we're gonna be doing this side. I believe I did it the same. So I go two, 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 and then we do it on this side, two, two, two right there, and then two. And you're gonna be doing that, you're gonna be doing this design on this side, then you're gonna be doing this design right here on this side. And so now, since that's done, we're going to be going down. We do the same pattern to actually let me count the blocks. Okay, so scratch that. We're not gonna be doing two, 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 two. We're gonna be doing two, one, and then two. So it's gonna look like that. So two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, whoops, two, one, two, one. And then that one's fine right there. And now we copy the design up here. So we go two, one, Two. There's already one right there, so we just have to go across and go down two. One, two, one, two, and there's already one right here again, so we just go across. Oops. Two, one, and then we would put one right there since that's how far we can go down. And it would look like that. Now we would do the other side. You would go to the same thing on the other side. You would do the two, one, two, one on this side. And did I just drop? Okay, yeah. And on this side, it's the same. So it's two, one, two, one. So it's the same on this side. But I'm still gonna be saying it just so you guys get it in your head. Two, one, two, one, two, one. So we do two, one, two, one, two, one, and then one right there. And then we do the exact same thing on this side. Two, one, two, and there's one right here, so that remains neutral. So then we go back to two, one, Two, one, two, that remains the same. Two, come on, there we go, one. And then we just put one right there since we don't have uh, any further down to go. And it would look something like so. And you would do this design, the same for this side. 
and this side right here. You do the exact same design. And so now let me continue with this support beam right here. Here's what you would do. Two, 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 two. And you would just keep going down twos all the way to the bottom. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. Two, two, two. And don't get confused by doing two one because that always happens to me. I would accidentally do two ones, two ones since that's already in my head. Just um, just say it out loud. Then you would do it the same on this side. You can do it on either side. You can start it right here or right there. It doesn't really matter. But I'm gonna start from right here. So we're gonna go two, two, two. I'm just gonna go all the way down. I'm gonna do that for both sides, of course. Just keep going down. Down. Whoops. All right, and down. And here's what it would look like. It would look like that. All right, so now, let's finish this side. Let me go ahead and This is in my first tutorial. The reason why I'm doing this right now is because there's actually support beams that go on this. All right, that should be good. All right, so on the actual ride, there's a support beam that goes outward, like so. And you would just want to connect it uh, sort of in a diagonal shape way. And it would look sort of something like this. Let me go show you. The one over here is much more complete and it looks much better. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you what that one looks like. And I also have to do the catwalk as well. Okay, so I see how I did it. I did it exactly diagonal. And then we went up with that. Okay. So I did it exactly diagonal, but yet this goes upward. So we're going to go ahead and um, go up by three, and then put this one on the top, and do it by three again. And go up, go by three, so it's going to look like this. All right. So now we're going to go across and go through again. And we're going to do our supports. Here's how I did the supports. Two of them go on this side, and then one on this side, and one on this side. And we go up. And whenever you hit um, a side of the coaster, like so, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go this way with it, and then go back up. Because if you just keep going up, then it's not going to go with the supports. Whoops. All right. So you're always going to want to remain under the track as much as possible. Then you would want to hit the track off to the side. And then you want to go down, and you want to copy the exact same other side that you've done. Like that. And then you're going to go all the way up until you hit these sides. Like so. Up. I went up two for this, so you would go up a one, two, and one, two. And now, you 
can go ahead and do it. Actually, go ahead and take those two off. This one will look, it'll look better this way. Much better. All right, now let's see what it looks like from afar. Yep. All right, so now let me show you how uh, to do beams this close. What you're gonna want to do is simple. You're going to want to. Uh, you don't want to make it all the way down. What you're gonna want to do is go one, skip one, one, skip one. I'm gonna do that the same side on this. One, skip one, one, skip one. So it's going to look like that. And on this side, you're just going to go down like so. Same for the other side. You're going to go down like so. Like a checker, basically. And it's going to look something like that. And this does not look natural whatsoever, so we're going to go ahead and cover that up. And we're going to extend it outward. And again, you can just pause the video if you don't know what I'm doing. And there you go. That's what that side looks like. And now let's complete this. Now, this does a very large helix, so... Um, there are certain patterns that I do to make it uh, look like a natural incline. But if I explain it, it's gonna take like 40 minutes up of the video. So, I'll explain how I do these patterns in another video, but if you can follow along, you can just pause the video, and here's how I do the patterns. So, and I can't really talk during this part because I'm busy counting. Okay, so now we got the top of it done. Whoa, nope, 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 nope. That looks way too large. The helix for it is more tall. I have to make it go more about an angle. There's a bunch of trial and error that I have with these coasters though. Leviathan had one of the most errors.
Alright, now we look at it. Mm, that's better. That's better. And then here comes the hard part because I gotta copy it all the way down. So this is gonna take a while. Hold on. One, two, three. Alright, so one, two, three. I'm sorry if I keep going back and forth. If I had mods, this would be much easier, but I actually don't really... I don't know how to use mods. And plus, this is Xbox, so Microsoft doesn't like mods. Let's see how many I've got done so far. This is the tedious part, by the way. Alright, so I just need one more time. One more. And then now I did the L's, correct? Yes, I did. did I do? Okay, I need to do one more. And now we just go down. Now an actual Millennium Force, what it does is that it would curve and then it would go this direction and then it would curve up and then go up the large hill but we're, we're just going to be focusing on these two main parts of the coaster so I'm just going to go ahead and finish the helix actually no no I'm not I can, I guess. I'll just finish it. But this is not what the helix would look like at all. It would not go straight. What it does is that it would go straight a little, but then it'll start to curve towards the uh, large hill again, and then it would curve in this direction, and it would go up its first hill. Or its second hill, I should say. But let's just uh, do the middle. We're only going to be doing the middle part of the helix, which I'll be showing you what that looks like. That right there, the middle part. So we're going to be doing this part right here. And you're going to want to start right in the center, right here, and you're going to go down two, and two, like so. And hold on. Alright, so you want to go move two away from it, like so, and you're going to make 
uh, you're gonna want to make a diamond, sort of. So I'll show you what my diamond's gonna be looking like. So, okay, so in the actual uh, ride, this part is uh, more of a curved out, but this one is actually uh, more uh, outwards. It goes out further. This one's more of a... It's, I can't explain it. It's, <laughs> it's hard to explain. But you're gonna wanna replicate this side as well. And okay. So I need to get a quick picture. Hold on. That typing is my computer. Okay, so that's a good picture. Alright, I see it. I see how we do it. Okay. So now... I actually lied to you guys, right? I lied. Okay, so you wanna go two, then you're gonna go two back. Then you're gonna go two back again, like so. Just like that. And now, for this side, you're gonna wanna go as far out as you can. In a diagonal way. Like that. And actually, you're going to want to be as close as possible to making a diagonal on from the track. And like that. And you're going to do it on this side as well. So you go up as far as you can. Oops. That right there. And now you're going to go diagonal. You're gonna do it on this side as well. Go all the way up and go diagonal. Just like that. And I light again. Go ahead and, if you did exactly what I did, go ahead and delete those. Because here's what's going to happen. We're going to have to go out even further. I see what's going on. I see what's going on, Millennium Force. I see through your ways. Yeah. All right. So now we just replicate it on the other side. So you go two, and then three, three, and then you go two again. And then you start right here, you go, Two, so two right there. 
and then two. I believe it's two again. Or three. I think it's three. Oh, nope, you just go back. Okay. And then you just go back. So yeah, it was three. So now, I lifted it above, and we went four. So we're going to start right here, lift it up, and then go four. Because that's how it shows on the ride. And now, there's more, right? So fun. You're going to make one directly across. Then you go go directly across again. Until you hit the other side. And then same goes for this side. Like so. Alright. Um not everything. Okay, so now this is the part where you go all the way down. So I'm starting right here. I know it gets very confusing. I keep looking back at the picture, so whenever I stop, I'm looking at a pic. I'm looking at the picture. I'll tell you what I'm doing in a second. Alright, so the reason why I did that is because in the picture, yeah, that actually does look a lot like in the picture. Alright, so in the picture, right after uh, the support beams that connect to the track, there's one that uh, is sort of further out, but like right next to it, and it goes diagonally down, and it connects to the main structure right here, which is, we're going to call it the tower, and that's going to be the top, so this is the tower, that's the top. And back to the top, we're going to start right here, and we're going to follow the outskirts of the track and go up diagonal. Whoops, sorry. We start right here instead, and then now we go up. Like so. Start here, go up, come around, like so. And is that how it's done? Yes, it is. All right. All right, so now all we gotta do is work on the bottom, or the tower. And here's how it goes. You're gonna start right next to the, um, Right next to the top of the tower, which is going to be right here. You're going to start right here, and you go diagonal at a 45 degree angle, so you're just going to go like so. Whoops. There we go. Do that again. here you're gonna make a bear you're gonna want to make a um, a cross beam section when it hits the uh, side of the tower so you're gonna go 
going to uh, go across on each side. The top doesn't matter since it's good. And it's going to look something like this. Now let me tell you a cool trick. You don't want to replicate the other side or it's it's not going to look as detailed. It's just going to it's going to look sloppy. So you don't want to start on the exact same side as the other track as the other one is starting from. You're going to want to start on this side so it looks um, from afar. It it honestly just just trust me. It looks better. I use this on all my coasters. It looks like I have done more than I really have. Which that's a big secret. It's out. It looks like it just looks better. And it saves you time. So now you go to make it cross beams. And that's what it would look like this. See? It makes it look like it's already together, when really, it's not. But it still looks cool from the side. See what I mean? Alright, so now we're gonna do this side. So go ahead and make a cross beam right here, and another cross beam right here. And go up one, two, one, two. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. And same goes with this side. You want to start on the other side. Same goes with all these supports over here. Sorry, I didn't say that earlier. I should have. I, I actually did say it didn't matter, but... I'm just giving you a heads up that it looks better if you do it the other way. But you're gonna go two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then one. And this is what it's gonna look like in full. See? There you go. There you have it. That's the um, side support beam for uh, Millennium Force. Um, I'll go ahead and show you how to do uh, one of the support beams that uh, go down diagonally. But then that would be it for uh, this. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show you how I would do the track and how the coaster actually falls onto the track. So, <sighs> I need to take a breather. Yeah. You're gonna start on the back side, since in real life the coaster actually uh, is a uh, sideways. What I'm trying to say is, okay, imagine this being the track. It's going to be on the side, but the track actually goes on top, since you know minecart tracks can't go sideways. <sighs> okay, you're gonna go all the way down. And now you're gonna make a cross section. And here's what I mean. You're gonna go down two. You're gonna go down one. You're gonna go down two. You're gonna go down one. You're gonna go down two. And you're just gonna keep going all the way down. And let's do, we're gonna start right here. We're gonna go ahead and go across. And it would look like that. And so that's what it would look like. And you would do that on this side as well. And so yeah, that's Millennium Force. Let me show you how to do the tracks though. You're going to want redstone tracks, and I use levers 
to uh, turn on the track because you can just put it down and you won't really notice it there but if you use an actual if you use an actual redstone uh, what's it called redstone torch if you use a redstone torch it's just gonna light up and people are always obviously going to know hey that's a redstone torch and it just looks sloppy so here's what I did you're going to want to take one off and then lead it up so then this part of the track would stay up and so it would look like that so then it would stay up instead of going down so it would be at a diagonal so you're always going to want to do two and then go up but this gets tedious because then you have to delete other tracks So we're going to start right here, two up, two up, two up, just like that. And you can just light it up off to the side. I always put it on the other side of what people are actually going to be looking at. Because that's what I did on <laughs> all of my coasters. I'll, I'll even prove it. Let's go to Rip Ride Rocket. Hold on, let me show you. Yep, look at that. See? But you guys never noticed until now. So yeah, that's what I do for all of my tracks. So, whoops, to make the uh, cart go all the way down. Sometimes it doesn't make it down, though. I had the worst problem with that on Leviathan. That's another problem I had with Leviathan because it's such a steep drop. So is Millennium Force, but Leviathan's a really steep drop. Whoops. But yeah, you would just keep going all the way down with that and you would uh, turn on it all to the sides. You can do it on the back side, it doesn't really matter. But I always do it all to the side. And alright. And so let's see how it works. Most of the time, it does never work first try. <gasps> but it does this time. It worked. It worked all the way to the down. All the way to that part where I put the dreadstone track. So if I if I continued the tracks, it would keep uh, falling down for me. Because uh, um, the minecarts would skip off the track. That's what they would do. They would just skip off the track and it would look like you're falling. So yeah, that's how I uh, do my uh, tracks. And thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go ahead and save it. And exit and save. I'm just going to show you a quick update on Expedition Everest as well. If you guys have been watching this long, then you guys obviously deserve to see the new updated version of Expedition Everest. So here it is. It looks much nicer now. I'm working on the uh, supports right now. We're not the supports, the uh, station. So here's what the station looks like. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a nice small little POV of the ride. If you guys have been watching this long, then you guys obviously deserve a POV of it. So here's what it looks like all on the inside. If you guys want to uh, know how I made the tracks uh, go backwards and everything just go ahead and comment on what you would uh, like to see on how I did all the redstone works but yeah thank you guys so much here's a quick POV of the ride and I'm gonna include the ride sound as well cuz I love you guys and uh, see ya